Hello everybody, my name is Lel and welcome back to another Pixelgun 3D myth busting video. Before I get into today's myths, I actually have two announcements that I wanted to make. The first one is if you are looking for a clan, then you should join mine. Uh, it is in the Wooden League right now. It's very sad. Uh, it's not doing so well at the moment. But it is only like two days old, so it will get better very fast. I'm determined to make it better. So if you do want to join my clan, all you have to do is get 1000 valor a war and it's not like it's not going to be like a very stressful grind clan or whatever but you do need to be active so as long as you're active you're all right and the second announcement before i get into the myths is that it's actually a very important announcement that someone on discord brought up i think it was tuzzy tuzzy i can't remember how to pronounce his name exactly but he was saying that i never actually gave credit to running back o2 for the myth busting idea and to be honest, he's right, I never did give credit, so it was kind of like I was stealing his content. But I also wanted to give credit to Running Back because without him and his, I don't know, his myth-busting idea, I wouldn't be where I am today. So a huge thanks to him for giving me this inspiration and the ideas, or the idea of posting MythBusters. So yeah, thank you to him, but without further ado, let's get into the myths. Alright, so the first one I thought was actually pretty interesting. Apparently there is a secret uh, room in Polygon, and they say that I need the green block weapon, but I'm not really sure what the green block weapon is. Okay, anyways, so he says that to the left of the monster pen, there should be a secret wall or something that I can go and hide in. Alright, so I don't see any secret room. I'm gonna try to look for the green block weapon. All right, I'm not really sure what you're talking about with the green block weapon, but I think if there was, oh, the green block weapon. Why are all the monsters going to the corner? One eternity later. Oh, okay, so apparently if I use the green block weapon, then the monsters will run inside it, and not me, but so I don't know what having the green block weapon does. They do all seem to be, uh, Navigating more towards this right corner, but I'm not. Hmm. I wonder if I could actually glitch myself outside of the polygon using the eraser. I think for now that myth is busted. Unless you want to give me more photos, then that myth is probably busted. But I want to try glitching myself out... To just kill them? Yeah, and it doesn't look like they attack me. Okay, well, that's not going to be possible. Alright, so this one is once again from Spring Cakes, the man, the myth, the legend himself, giving me yet another myth. This one most of you probably already know, but I thought that it would be pretty cool if it worked. He says that before I watch the ad for the free currency, I should quit out of Pixel Gun, load back in, and then I get the currency. Which, I guess, in some cases would be faster than watching the ad, but I guess it really depends on how long the ad actually is. So I quit out a pixel gun, going right back in. And here I am loading back into pixel gun and it and it did look like I got the coins. So that is a very easy way, especially if you load in fast. I'm guessing that it goes the same for the free currency for gems. That myth is definitely confirmed, moving on. So this next myth is saying that if I use any super punch on one of my allies in the polygon, then they will fall. So I do have my super punch charged here, and apparently they will die if I hit them with the super punch. Let me go grab another super punch. Uh, it doesn't look like they're falling. This guy's original myth was that I could heal them with the super punch weapon things, but then they would also fall. So maybe it needs to like heal as well, but I already did that in the other video. So I was just seeing if they would fall if I use super punch on them. So I guess this is kind of like a hybrid myth between mine and his. So my side of this myth is busted, but I'll give his a try. So apparently if I use this weapon and then if I grab the super punch, now they'll fall. 
I think they fall when they're when they hit the max health. Yeah. So when they die, or like when they fall over, they hit the max health. Or when they hit the max health, they fall over. However you want to phrase that. So yeah, his side of the myth is confirmed, and my side is definitely busted. Moving on. Alright, so apparently if I equip a pet in the third person mode, then its name will start to change. So... Why did I name it Doggy? Wait. Wait. Wait, why is its name Doggy? Why is its name Doggy? Hold on, I'm going to rename this guy. Yes. And his name is still Doggy. That's so odd. Hmm. Well, I guess that myth is confirmed. Let me just try it with a flying pet instead. What is that name? Raven Gun? Please don't tell me I named it that. No, I named it Parrot. Raven Gun? What? Okay, um... Hmm. That's definitely an issue. Huh. Well, that myth is definitely confirmed. Myth. If I shoot the purple portal with the pulley sucker gun in the Area 51 labs map, then I should have the same glitch that I did if I would dash into it. So I'll show you both in case you didn't watch the previous episode. Alright, so I'm hopping to pubs here because for some reason it's not in custom anymore. Or none that I could find. And it's this portal right here. So I'll just show you what it does with the dash. You kind of glitch around inside of it. Okay, Owl, you're in the way here. And now, uh, Val is saying that if I use the grappler into it, it's going to do the same thing. Yep. It does. Ooh, okay, that was my bad. Oh boy, this is going to be. How did I do it the first time? Oh, okay, there we go. So yeah, it is doing the same thing as the dash. So yeah, that myth is confirmed. Alright, this next one is on campaign, and they say that if I use dash weapons in campaign, then I'll be able to glide. This might be a little obvious to some of you, but I just want to glide. So here we are, I'm just going to see if we can glide. And you can glide, so that... This is very cool. I know what I'm going to be doing for the next couple minutes. See you guys when I get bored of doing this. And before I wrap it up for today's video, the last myth is if you click the like button on one of my videos, then it'll turn blue. So I'm going to leave that one for you guys to decide if it works. <laughs> but uh, I tested it out, and the answer is, yeah, I'm not going to tell you. You have to go try that one out for yourself. Uh, if you click the dislike button, though, your phone actually blows up, so I would not recommend doing that. 